What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to deploy our application to Firebase hosting. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so in order to deploy our application to the Firebase hosting service, we need to install the Firebase CLI. So this will be npm install. We are going to install this package globally. And here, the name of the package is Firebase Tools. Okay, now we have access to the Firebase CLI and we can log in to the CLI. So this will be Firebase login. Okay, and once we log in, we're gonna need to follow some steps. Here um, is going to ask if we want to allow Firebase to collect CLI usage, no. Okay, and here we need to allow access to the Firebase CLI. Okay, now we are successfully authenticated and now we can use the CLI. And we need to run Firebase init. And here we need to select what are the Firebase services that we want to use for our project. We have database, we have Firestore, we have functions, we have hosting. This is the service that we are going to use in this case to deploy our application. We also have storage and we have emulators. So I'm going to select hosting. And now I, I can either use an existing project or I can create a new project. In my case, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to add an identifier. Let's say Gatsby01. I'm going to keep this as it is. And this is going to create the resources using the Google Cloud Platform and the Google Firebase service. Okay, and now I'm going to keep the default selection here. This will be yes. And now we're going to make a few changes to the Firebase configuration. So here I am within the Gatsby project and I need to make some changes here to the setup of the project. So let's go to the Gatsby website. And here we have some steps that we need to follow. And here we have some settings for the Firebase JSON configuration. So I'm going to grab everything from here and I'm going to replace the entire file. Okay, the next step will be installing all the dependencies and PM install. And here we can see in the settings, what is the folder that will be the publication folder, let's say, that in our case will be this public, this folder. And here we can also see what are the files that should be ignored when deploying the application. We need to ignore the firebase.json file, that is actually this file. And we also need to ignore the node modules folder. And here we are also specifying that the rest of the files should be ignored. The only folder that will be published will be the public folder. And here we have some other caching control settings. Okay, now that all the packages are installed, we can run Gatsby build. Gatsby build. This is going to create the bundle for our application. And after this, we are going to run the deploy command using the Firebase CLI. Okay, before deploying our application to Firebase, we can quickly check that everything is working as we expect. So we can run Gatsby serve. Okay, now let's take a look. And as we can see here, the site is rendering as we expect. Okay, I'm going to close this, let's go back. And now let's run Firebase deploy so that we can deploy our application using the Firebase hosting service. So this is Firebase deploy. Okay, so now let's follow this link. And here we can access the console. Here on the left hand side, we have access to the different services for Firebase, authentication, Cloud Firestore, real-time database, storage, functions, machine learning, and hosting. So if we go to hosting, here is where we're gonna have our dashboard with our application. So here we can access the website that we just deployed using this domain. Gatsby01.web.app. 
or we can also access using this domain, gatsby one firebaseapp.com. So I'm going to click here. And as we can see here, we have access to our Gatsby website. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.